In 2020, Diddy went on a media tour for Biden. White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, this man literally um, threatened the lives of us and our families about going to vote. When you look at it, we don't have no choice. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You can say what you want about Biden. I, I, I can't say I love the pick either, but hey, we got to get him in office mm -hmm. and then we got to hold him accountable. Democrats use Diddy's charisma, star power, and street cred in the black community every single election. He was in the back pocket of the powerful, and that made him powerful with a free pass. He endorsed the Democrats, politicked for them, and got souls to the polls, as they say. But there was more to it than that. He was a political enforcer. All of the usual suspects, the handlers, Dave Chappelle, Meek Mills, Diddy, uh, all these people aren't in position and for us as celebrities. They gotta call him, put a leash on him. What are we gonna do with Ye? Diddy, give him a call. Tell him, tell him we ain't like the t-shirt. Tell him like right now the agenda is this is this is the voting agenda for the celebrities for the black. Make him do exactly what LeBron would do. Diddy knows the celebrity agenda for voting, especially for black celebrities, it's Democrat. What did he get in exchange for all of this political influence? According to the bombshell lawsuit filed by his former producer, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, Diddy was allowed to wreak havoc. We're wired with cameras. And he had some of the footage, he had some of the pictures, and he displayed those in the lawsuit that came out. And this was used for blackmail material. They'd bring in these people. A lot of these people were also aspiring young artists in the music industry. And then these parties were sponsored by Motown Records CEO, Universal Records CEO. This goes all the way to the top. And so you get these people in compromising situations. The drinks were laced, their videotapes were hot. And then at the end of the day, you wake up the next morning, oh, what did I do? And then they have compromising material on you. And then they can guide your career. They could kill your career, but they got you. And it wasn't just people in the music business. As you said, there were athletes, there were celebrities, there were politicians, people from the royal family. And we were also told by the former bodyguard that Diddy was an FBI informant. Whoa. So he was a snitch and was feeding information to the feds. And we don't know what that means. We haven't been able to confirm it. But even Little Rod said it's not just like Epstein. Prince Harry was hanging with Diddy. I mean, everybody hung with Diddy. That's the other tricky yeah, thing. Like, Diddy hung out with thing. everybody. And I've spoken to a bunch of people who are like, yo, great dude. Like, always there for you. Never asked for a single thing. To one in the morning. And then, and the then freak off. Everybody the says, get out of the house. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like the gremlins start eating after midnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody Bro. who tells the story is like, I saw I go upstairs, and these dudes are fucking, yeah. like, right on the couch. Yeah. And then I go in this room and these guys are fucking and it's yeah. like And pros. Like apparently he was getting mailed. Yeah, that's the that was one of the rumors, like the Male freak off. So he would hire the professional dicks to have sex with the girls. And I think he would watch allegedly. That's that's what was alleged, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And that's the other thing, like I wonder like is that just a power thing? It's a Caligula thing. What does that mean? Caligula, like the the emperor. Did you ever see that movie, Caligula? No, no. It's about just Roman empires being completely out of control. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these all you fake hard niggas, you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, you. Podcast, man, and I, and I probably should, oh, wow. <laughs> so we got one side <laughs> see <laughs> He put on her socks. Why would he do that? Because it's a power thing. It's grippy. By the way, it's grippy, bro. Yo, stop. drugs like a motherfucker. Yes. Gotta be. That's, that's clear. And she said he was intoxicated as shit, but you are Sean P. Diddy Combs. Yeah. And you're in the Intercontinental Hotel and you run out in a towel. This was 2016, is yeah, there, or 18? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was 46 years old. Yeah. Sean Diddy Combs, a luminary in the music industry, has been embroiled in numerous controversies over the years. From accusations of murder and violence to allegations of sexual assault, Diddy's history is littered with claims that paint a disturbing picture. And Jesse Waters played the biggest role in bringing these issues to light. Jesse Waters, a prominent television host and political commentator, has played a crucial role in exposing the various allegations against Diddy. Through his investigative reporting, Waters has brought attention to the serious accusations 
Americans that have followed Diddy for years. Waters' platform on Fox News has given voice to the victims and critics who accuse Diddy of heinous acts, from sexual assault to orchestrating murders. Waters has been vocal about the need for accountability in the entertainment industry, using his influence to shed light on Diddy's purported misdeeds. His coverage has included interviews with alleged victims and insiders who provide chilling accounts of Diddy's behavior. Waters' persistent reporting aims to hold Diddy accountable and seek justice for those who claim to have suffered at his hands. In one notable segment, Waters interviewed former bodyguards and associates of Diddy, who recounted instances of violence and intimidation. These insiders described a culture of fear surrounding Diddy, where dissent was met with threats and sometimes physical harm. Waters' investigative team also uncovered court documents and police reports that corroborated some of the allegations, lending credibility to the claims against Diddy. Waters' role in the Diddy expose is significant not only for the platform it provides to victims, but also for the detailed investigation that goes beyond sensational headlines. By presenting well-researched and substantiated claims, Waters has helped to shift the public narrative, making it harder for Diddy to dismiss these allegations as mere rumors or conspiracy theories. And here we go with all the allegations and rumors. In the late 1990s, Diddy, then Puff Daddy, was romantically involved with Jennifer Lopez. Their relationship was marked by turmoil, culminating in a notorious 1999 nightclub incident. A shooting at Club New York left three people injured, and Diddy, along with Lopez, was arrested. Although Lopez was cleared, the incident tarnished Diddy's image. Rumors of infidelity also plagued their relationship, with claims that Diddy was unfaithful, leading to their eventual breakup. Diddy's alleged involvement in the violent episode at the nightclub, where he was reportedly carrying a weapon, added to the cloud of suspicion surrounding him. Kim Porter, Diddy's longtime partner and the mother of three of his children, passed away in 2018. Officially, she died of pneumonia, but conspiracy theories have suggested foul play. Allegations of Diddy's involvement in her death, though unsubstantiated, persist. These rumors are part of a broader pattern of suspicion surrounding Diddy and the untimely deaths of those close to him. Friends and family of Porter have often spoken out about the unusual circumstances of her death, fueling speculation that Diddy may have had a role in it. However, no concrete evidence has emerged to support these claims. The 2015 murder of rapper Chink's drugs added another layer to Diddy's controversial history. Chink's, a rising star in the rap world, was gunned down in Queens, New York. His murder remains unsolved, but conspiracy theories have linked Diddy to the crime. These theories suggest that Chink's growing popularity posed a threat to Diddy's dominance in the music industry, leading to his assassination. While these claims lack concrete evidence, they contribute to the aura of mystery and danger surrounding Diddy. Chink's death is often cited in discussions about the darker side of the music industry, where competition can sometimes lead to deadly consequences. Aubrey O'Day, a former member of the girl group Danity Kane, has publicly accused Diddy of emotional and psychological abuse. She claims that Diddy's manipulative behavior led to the group's disbandment. O'Day's allegations highlight a pattern of controlling and abusive behavior that others have also reported. Danity Kane's dissolution is often attributed to Diddy's erratic management style and his alleged mistreatment of the group members. O'Day has detailed incidents where Diddy belittled and demeaned her, creating a toxic environment that ultimately caused her to leave the group. Mary J. Blige, an iconic figure in the music industry, has also been linked to Diddy through allegations of drug addiction and violent behavior. Reports suggest that Diddy played a role in enabling Blige's substance abuse issues, creating a toxic environment that exacerbated her struggles. These allegations add to the narrative of Diddy as a manipulative and dangerous figure in the lives of those around him. Blige's battles with addiction and her tumultuous relationship with Diddy have been well documented, with insiders claiming that Diddy's influence often pushed her towards destructive behaviors. Justin Bieber, another major celebrity, has had his name dragged into the controversy surrounding Diddy. Allegations emerge that Diddy introduced Bieber to a lifestyle of excessive partying and drug use when Bieber was still a teenager. Critics argue that Diddy exploited Bieber's youth and vulnerability, leading him down a destructive path. While Bieber has since turned his life around, the accusations remain a dark chapter in Diddy's legacy. Bieber himself has alluded to the negative influences in his early career, and many believe Diddy was a significant part of that dark period. No, one of the most damning allegations against Diddy comes from his former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. In 2023, Cassie filed a lawsuit accusing Diddy of years of physical and emotional abuse, including rape and coercion. According to Cassie, Diddy subjected her to a cycle of violence and control that left her traumatized. The lawsuit details horrific instances of abuse, painting Diddy as a predator who exploited his power to dominate and terrorize Cassie. Her claims are supported by detailed accounts of physical assaults and psychological manipulation, shedding light on the dark side of their relationship. The East Coast-West Coast rap feud of the 1990s, epitomized by the rivalry between Diddy and Tupac Shakur, remains one of the most infamous chapters in hip-hop history. Tupac was fatally shot in 1996, and while his murder remains officially unsolved, conspiracy theories have pointed to Diddy's involvement. Some believe that Diddy orchestrated the hit to eliminate a rival and protect his own interests. These theories, though unproven, continue to fuel speculation and debate. The feud between Tupac and Diddy was characterized by a series of public diss tracks and escalating tensions, culminating in Tupac's tragic death. Beyond Cassie's accusations, Diddy has faced multiple allegations of sexual assault.
assault over the years. Several women have come forward with claims of being drugged and assaulted by Diddy. These allegations contribute to a pattern of behavior that portrays Diddy as a serial abuser who uses his wealth and influence to silence victims and avoid accountability. The testimonies of these women, often harrowing and detailed, paint a picture of a man who feels untouchable, shielded by his fame and fortune. Media coverage has played a significant role in shaping public perception of Diddy. While his public persona has often been that of a successful businessman and philanthropist, the allegations present a stark contrast. Outlets like Fox News, through hosts like Jesse Waters, have provided a platform for these stories, challenging the dominant narrative. Waters' relentless pursuit of the truth and commitment to giving a voice to the victims has been instrumental in keeping these allegations in the public eye. Uh, the legal battles resulting from these allegations have significant financial and reputational implications for Diddy. Lawsuits, like the one filed by Cassie, not only threaten his financial empire but also tarnish his legacy. The ongoing investigations and potential criminal charges could lead to severe consequences, including jail time and substantial financial penalties. The allegations against Sean Diddy Combs paint a disturbing picture of a powerful figure allegedly involved in a range of criminal activities. From violence and murder to sexual assault and manipulation, the accusations span decades and involve numerous celebrities. Jesse Waters' investigative reporting has played a crucial role in bringing these issues to light, highlighting the need for accountability and justice. As the legal battles and public scrutiny continue, the true extent of Diddy's actions may eventually come to light. Until then, the allegations serve as a stark reminder of the dark side of fame and the importance of holding powerful individuals accountable for their actions. The impact of these allegations on Diddy's legacy and the lives of his alleged victims underscores the ongoing struggle for justice in the face of celebrity impunity. The media's role, especially through figures like Jesse Waters, remains crucial in ensuring that the voices of the victims are heard and that justice is pursued, regardless of the stature of the accused.